This time there were only two at the finish of this stage to Miribel. Have they forgotten the frustration of the Tour de France defeat in 2015 when in Mont their attitude caused them to be overpassed by Cummings in the Jalabert climb? The two strongmen of French cycling had a second chance today and if Bardet seemed better in the ascent. On the finale, a 200 meter flat, the strongest one was Thibaut Pinot. A great one two anyway, for Mombarde can be satisfied with the third place of the GC. If Christopher Froome stroked twice on Friday with the stage win in Vosjani and the overall lead ahead of Richie Port, he knows nothing is over yet. For the final victory, the gaps are still limited and more importantly, the stage 6 course between La Rochette and Meribel should offer the field a power struggle. Three category 1 climbs of which the climb to Meribel and the Col de la Madeleine, the only or category of the week over 141 km. A group of 30 men broke from the pack at the first kilometer. Expectedly, some climbers without GC ambitions went to the front for a chance to clinch a stage success. Thibaut Pinot or Daniel Teclemanot, the Polka dot jersey wearer, were in this situation. On the way to Col de la Madeleine, the escapees managed to leave the peloton three minutes behind. Thibaut Pinot was the first of 15 men at the top of the climb. Behind, Aru and Bardet started to chase the breakaway and ended up closing in on the group. The ag 2 r La Mondiale riders were the main pace setters. They were fast, too fast for many riders who were dropped. 30 kilometers to the finish line, Bardet, Pino, Kreuziger, Baiklands and their companions were a little less than three minutes clear. Chris Froome's Sky teammates pulled hard the yellow jersey group, dropping some riders in the process. In the front, Bardet attacked 10 kilometers from the finish line. The ag 2 r La Mondiale leader left everybody behind except another Frenchman, Thibaut Pino. The two mountain specialists collaborated until the last three kilometers. Bardet then tried to go solo, but he failed to drop Pino. He may have been a bit nervous to make so many efforts. He was in front when the sprint started, but Pino was less tired and his legs are stronger on a sprint. Logically, the FDJ rider passed Bardet just before the line to take his first stage success in a Dauphiné. Bardet finished second, Don Martin completed the stage top three. It was fantastic. We worked well together, though I must say I didn't really understand the finale. There was room to do something much better for both of us, I think, especially for Romain at the GC. But I'm glad we got our revenge over the Mont stage, and it feels good to be together again with Romain for the victory. In this stage 6 classification, as you can see, Chris Froome gained a few more seconds over his pursuers at the GC. The Briton took 8 seconds to Alberto Contador, 14 to Richie Port. On the leaderboard, the two former teammates, Froome and Port, maintained their positions at the top, but Bardet climbs to the third place of the podium instead of Dan Martin and Contador, who is now fifth. Pino jumps at the 10th place of the GC. The competition ends tomorrow with 151 kilometers to cover between Le Pont de Clay and Super Devolui, and once again the menu is spicy. Two category one climbs in the last 50 kilometers will conclude a total of 60 kilometers of ascent at an 8% average gradient. Finally, the last climb to Super Devolui will be 3.8 kilometers long with a 6% gradient, a perfect conclusion for the winner of the 68th Criterium du Dauphiné.